wasted potential. So for a lot of my life, I kind of thought that I've been a perfectionist. That's kind of how I thought of myself. I'm like, oh, I like to take my time with things. I like to find the right things. I like to find things that resonate with me. And I want to do the right thing and I want to make sure it's the right thing to do. But really, I was just procrastinating. I was putting off things that I should be doing or the harder work to kind of wait for something that would kind of fall into my lap and just, you know, it be it become easier and then everything would just, you know, fall into place. And I've come to this realization that me kind of trying to identify as this perfectionist was holding me back a lot because I realized there was nothing that I've really done, nothing that I've achieved that I've really been proud of. And I was kind of looking back at that and I thought, oh, this is really sad. You know, I've done these things and some of them might seem like achievements to other people, but I've never actually gave my all to everything. I've never done something and tried to do it to my best ability for an extended period of time. Like I've recorded an album for music, but I wasn't very happy or content with how it ended up in the end. You know, it wasn't very, it didn't come out as I wanted it to or how I expected it to. And I've played a lot of soccer and there's been a few games, a few times where I've given my all and I felt really satisfied by that. And another thing with this is that through, through, by me not putting effort into anything, I wasn't becoming very confident at it. I wasn't building my identity. I wasn't building my self-esteem and self-esteem comes through, like, as I said, it comes through competence. It comes through putting effort into something, building up the skill of it and proving that you're good at it and building the results and building the outcomes and the desires that you want in your life. And I think this is really powerful, especially for other people like me who, you know, they tend to just kind of coast around in life and I've felt really down and really depressed and like I talked in my last video and I've felt, you know, just really lost and lonely and kind of like looking for something and I was like, what is it? What is the answer? And I've been watching a lot of Chris Bumstead and he has such a great kind of philosophy and idea and I think he's such like a kind of smart man and he's someone that's like produced the results for it. And it's not that I want to become a, you know, an Olympia champion, you know, I think that's, to me, that's a bit, a bit excessive, but I can appreciate and I can understand how people want to do that. But his kind of philosophy is the champion mindset and that's creating your own rules and listening to who you are. And he talks about in the Modern Wisdom podcast how he was kind of, you know, his father was this very stoic kind of holding it in and he and Chris was a very sentient kind of being, you know, he was someone that felt a lot of feelings. And I identify that with that a lot because I've been someone who's very sensitive and I've just always tried to quell it down. And... I can't really change that because that's part of kind of who I am and you kind of have to accept that and add that into your own champion kind of mindset. And I think that's another important thing that um, we are always looking, I'm always looking, I find, for answers for other people to give me the set fixture, the set schedule, the set way to be successful. And it's kind of different and nuanced for everyone. And, you know, wasted potential is never seeing how far you could go, never seeing what you could do, never seeing what you could accomplish. And I think that's such a sad thing. And I've kind of realized, you know, maybe why I've been feeling so down and felt like I wanted to take my life in the past was because I've never put my effort into something. I've never given something my all and tried to see how far I could go and push my limits and dedicate myself to something. Because when... I find that when I put more effort into something and I kind of, it's something that I want, like, for example, this YouTube channel, or I've decided that I wanted to release music, you know, I've have, I have so many songs and I just want to get it out into this package that I can be proud of, that I've put a lot of effort into, that I could play live very easily and that I could get, you know, the perfect recording and have it out there. You know, maybe I don't want to be a musician in the future, but I want to have the satisfaction that 
oh, I wrote these songs and I perfected them. I worked on them and I got them out there. I just like feel like I need to get this off my chest. And this, this has just opened me up so much more because I, f- I have something to work towards. I have some sort of meaning. I have something to work on. And, you know, I look back and I feel like I've wasted like 20 years of my life because I've worried about what other people think too much. I haven't put into effort into anything. I haven't stuck through anything to see results, to have create a produce, to create or produce a outcome that I was proud of. And it's like, no wonder I felt so bad. Wasted potential. You can call yourself a perfectionist, but you will be a procrastinator. Or you can decide that you will give your best no matter what, without it being perfect. Just put in the work until you get there. I'm Malin, and thank you for watching this video.